In this demo, we will build a machine learning algorithm with visualization using the machine learning OpenStudio from Activion. First step, we will see how to build a machine learning workflow using only drag and drop. Let's start by connecting yourself to the Azure Tri platform using your regular Activion credential. First, let's configure the studio to fit our requirements. Previous workflows have been prepared and organized in buckets. So let's organize our dashboard to fit our needs. We will import multiple buckets in the custom menu of the studio, pin them to both sides, and finally get an optimized layout. Let's quickly fill the general parameter. Now, let's start composing our simple machine learning workflow. We will drag and drop pre-made tasks, such as in first, import data, which will collect the data from external sources, split data, which will um, segregate data for the test and for the model, train model, which is the main part of the machine learning, and which will take into uh, parameters the classification algorithm, a task to download the model, test our model, and finally, a task to export and visualize our result. Now, let's explore the parameters required for each task. For instance, the URL of the dataset for the first task, the percentage of training versus testing for the dataset. Uh, we can visualize the code here, some in Python that is currently used. And the type of output we want to visualize some results. We can now execute the workflow and visualize what happened. Let's go to the scheduler to monitor execution. We can visualize the progress of our workflows and Proactive will automatically collect the logs. Once completed, we can then select the download task to download the actual model. If we select the export task, we can visualize our results. Now let's create your own task. First, we need to create a new workflow, fill the general parameters, and then drag and drop the tasks that you need. Here we will use a Python task, and we will rename it, change the icon so that we can better understand what it does. We will fork the environment and to make sure that we are using the right libraries, we are using a Docker container. So we need to specify which container to use. And finally, we'll just copy and paste our machine learning algorithm. Let's now push our workflow to the relevant bucket. And we will then need to reload the menu so that you can take into account this new item. We can then use it for drag and drop purposes. Now let's visualize some data. We'll create another workflow and fill the general parameters. We'll then drag and drop the relevant pre-made task here related to wisdom and we'll connect them together to actually make sense. We will use all custom data and just copy and paste them in this task. And we just execute it. We then go to the scheduler to monitor execution. As we can see, we can fetch the log and we can visualize the progress. Once the server is started, we can open it in the other browser to see and visualize different type of charts that are provided by Wisdom.